next speaker he doesn't need an introduction but i'm going to give it anyway for the people who don't know him his name is jagan he's a, such a well known personality on social media he's a software engineer who started his journey with a capital of just rupees 3 lakhs he has managed to grow his wealth to 6 crore rupees which is so impressive he is a self made trader he's an option seller and he took a leap of faith and quit his job and he is now a full time trader since 2018 Jagan will be sharing his knowledge about risk defined option strategies. He focuses on option selling and optimizing various trading strategies. Contrary to the belief that trading is purely luck based, Jagan has proved that it's a numbers game which has to be given a chance to be played out over a series of trades. I'd like to invite him on stage. Good morning everyone. So uh, most of the guys will know about me but, but still I would like to introduce myself. People used to call me Jagan. so my twitter handle is it jagan because i did not get the jagan name in twitter so that's why i named this it jagan because i am um it background okay <laughs> okay so uh, my personal this thing right so i started in 2015 with the 3 lakhs i came to the market from the day one i was a option seller okay for variety of reasons okay so i am being a mathematician there are multiple verticals in stock market yes or no you can do cash market you can do arbitrage you can do option buying you can do option selling okay and what i looked where rich people are there that's what i started looking so when i started looking i came to know that most of the rich people are in option selling so i don't mean to say that actually you can't make money in option buying you can't make money in swing you can't make money in in investments or arbitrage but most of the people are there in option selling so the edge is high the alpha is high okay so that is the reason why i came to option selling so when i came to option selling there are variety of strategies okay short strangle short straddle lion condor iron fly and the strategies what i am going to dis, uh, uh, explain today it is going to be the mix of two strategies okay so i started doing it so but when i came to the market my expectation towards the market was very simple i want to make 2 to 3 percent per month from the day one even when i had 3 lakhs capital in my pocket my expectation was 2% if i was making 6000 per month i was really really happy so in 2015 i started with 3 lakhs right now i am trading for my capital more than 30 cr in a proper account including the proper account i do from the day one till now i do option selling option selling option selling i don't know anything else little bit of trend following that's it so all my experience all my data knowledge all my mathematical knowledge all my it skill all my programming knowledge i put only in option selling because till now it is giving consistent growth and my cagr is increasing more than 60% per annum if you are comparing from 3 lakhs to the current level what i am where i am okay so that's it so let's go to the strategy part okay the new strategy what i am going to say is a in stock okay and if you are looking for the, uh, if you are trying to google it this in stock strategies will not be available in the google because the new strategy name in stock is coined by myself so new strategy okay but it is not a strategy which is not available in the world okay it is available but what i did i did some massaging and then try to make sure that how you can take the alpha from the market okay so that's what i'm going to explain to you So what is the strategy name? In stock. Okay. Okay. So being an option seller, initial days you will love to sell options with the stocks. How many people are selling options in stocks? You are selling options in stocks for covered call or cash secured put. Drop your hands. How you? Anybody is doing a short straddle or short strangle in the stock? Very less people. Why many people are not doing? liquidity why is some people are selling options in stocks right why they do, do why they do because the stock option is having the higher premium higher risk and reward yes or no index option premium is cheaper that's what the expense ratio is high this premium is very high volatility is very in high in stocks so the premium is high if you are looking at the margin you are spending in a stock and the return you are getting in 
selling option, the stock option ROE is much, much higher. But with respect to the index, the index return is less. Okay. Now, the risk wise also it is high. How the reward is high, the risk is also high because the chance of gap up or gap down is very, very high when you deal with the stocks. But when you deal with the index, yes, gaps can happen, but not to the level of 10%, 20%, 30% often. But with respect to the stocks, the gaps can happen at any time. Okay? And, and it is not easy to do a research. And even many people are doing a trend following system, right? How many people are doing a trend following system? Okay. When you apply the trend following system with the stocks, what is your result? All stocks. F1 to all stocks. Say for example, you have a death crossover moving, moving average system. When you deal with the Nifty and Bank Nifty, it works. But when you, when you apply the same logic with the stocks, maybe 50% of, of the stocks, it will work, 50% of the stock, it will not work. Because stocks are not matured. Stocks are not matured. Index is more matured. So, that is, and liquidity is less. And index is liquidity is more, okay. So, if you want to sell options, you have to sell options in index and you are not supposed to sell options in stocks, but I am recommending you to sell stock option in this strategy for variety of reasons. Okay? There are some problems with the stocks, but how we are going to address it? So that is what the strategy is going to, I am going to explain to you. Okay? So this in stock is nothing but index plus stocks. Index plus stocks. We are going to mix index plus stocks and we are going to arrive the strategy that is called in, the, in stock. Okay? So now, what is the best strategy in option selling? Short strangle or short shuttle? Short strangle or short shuttle? Do not look at the slide. So your experience you can say. Combination of both. Okay, with respect to the index, which strategy is good? In short shuttle or short sh short strangle? Mm. Okay, this is index. Okay, this is SS one is short strangle. SS two is a short straddle. Okay, and this is stock. Okay, and if you are dealing with the weekly strangle, straddle, if you are dealing with the weekly straddle will give more profit, strangle will give less profit. Go and check the alpha with the weekly, with the weekly, okay, I am saying, okay. With respect to the monthly, straddle is not so good, strangle is somewhat okay. With respect to the stocks, it depends on the stocks. You can't say any opinion, no opinion, because some stocks will be trending, some stocks will not be trending, so it is very difficult to say. So the alpha in straddle is very high with weekly. The alpha in straddle is very high with weekly. How do you say that? Simple. Take a short straddle, test for five years, how much profit you are getting. Take short strangle, test for five years, how much profit you are getting. Which profit will be more? Straddle profit will be more. You may be making profit by strangle. I am not saying that it is not easy to make money with the strangle. You can make money in a strangle. But where is the alpha? Alpha where is the alpha is very high? Straddle. Okay. Now we are going to deal with the monthly option with the stocks. Okay. So with the stocks, it is totally risky to sell options. So I would like to go for a strangle. Why? Because it is totally risky to do a straddle in stocks, okay? but you can do, it, it makes money, but it gives a huge volatility, huge MTM, Indrada MTM, huge MTM swing. So I am going to do the short strangle with stocks. Okay? So that is what I am going to do, simple. Now the question comes to your mind, Jagan, you are doing a monthly short strangle with the stocks, what if, if, the, st if the stock is going 10% down, 20% down, 30% down, it is 100% possible with the stocks. 
it may not be that much possible with the index, but it is 100 percent possible with the stock. Do you agree or not? So, you need to hedge. As soon as you hedge short strangle and buy the OTM strangle, it will become a, what is, this, what is the strategy called? Iron Gondor. Iron Gondor, most likely you will make only 15 percent to 20 percent per annum. You cannot make more than that. How many people agree? Even 15 percent is, I mean too much return for Iron Gondor. Because you are selling and you are buying, whether you are low volatility, high volatility, both will get neutral because you are long and short. Yes or no? So, thus you can't make that much money with iron condor, okay. But we are going to do a different iron condor. How? We are going to buy the index in, we are going to buy the option in index. Why? Simple index premium is cheaper, stock premium is costly. So, sell where it is high, buy where it is low. Getting my point? How many people agreed? So, you are going to sell the premium where it is high, you are going to buy the, where the premium is cheaper. The IV is always lower in stocks, the IV is always high in stocks. So, that is what I am going to do. But where? How do you decide? Because with the iron counter it is very simple. You sell a short strangle, two strike price away, you are going to buy. Yes or no? Yes or no, whether it is, it could be ICIC bank or HDFC bank or any other stocks, it is easy, sell short strangle and then buy two strike price away, easy. But how do I buy, which strike I buy, because I am selling a short strangle in stocks with respect to the index, where should I buy? How it will mimic the iron counter, correct? So, for which actually I have a rough logic, okay, we will explain. So, for which we are going to first so the logic is stocks index what are the stocks i am going to sell first hdfc bank second icic bank index bank nifty okay simple so these are the stocks i am going to stock and this is the index i am going to buy so that it is correlated i can't put reliance and then i can't put a bank nifty here right now so it should be related that's what i am going to do so what is the weightage for which many people many people are having under the impression that hdfc bank weightage is more but look at here, in recent times ICC bank weightage has come closer to HTFC, HTFC bank, okay. So, go to Google, you can say Nifty, in bank Nifty indexogram, you will get this chart. Bank Nifty indexogram, any time, every week, every month is getting updated in NSE website, you will get the weightage here, okay. So, why I am not choosing all other stocks? Because all other stocks are not having that much weightage. These stocks together is having 50 percent weightage. There is one more reason why I am not putting all these stocks into the in stock. I will explain later. But for the time being, you can assume that these are the two stocks we are going to deal in this in stock strategy. Got it? Okay. Now, so which strike price we are going to sell? That is the next question. for which for which sliding duplicate ok uh, for which you need to understand what is SD what is SD standard deviation ok how many people do not know standard deviation how many people do not know standard deviation Many people know it, and then I do not need to explain. <laughs> Standard deviation, if you are, there is a complicated logic, but I am not going there. So, my way of identifying standard deviation is one I am going to explain to you. It is not exactly the same standard deviation measurement what you see in a payoff chart. So, I have a different way of defining standard deviation. So, it can called as IT jagan standard deviation, okay. Simple. So, standard deviation is nothing but if you are, say for example, the sum of 
at the money call plus at the money premium put together is called standard deviation for the index for the next pair. Confusing, eh? the sum of call plus put for a given expiry for a given index is called standard deviation. Example, let me put 45,000 is the market. At the money call is 400. At the money put is 400. Then it is 800 rupees is one standard deviation. How many people got this? This is a one standard deviation. It's a rough way of calculating the standard deviation. This is a standard deviation right now for a given expiry. Okay, simple. So we are going to sell options, two OTM, three OTM, four OTM, no OTM, because at when the volatility is high, you want to sell far. When the volatility is less, you want to sell near. How do you decide actually which strike price you need to sell? based on standard deviation because if the volatility is high at the money premium is high yes or no so obviously you will go little far when the volatility less the premium is less so obviously you come closer so thus you will be selecting one standard deviation whether VIX is 12 where VIX is 15 where VIX is 20 where VIX is 30 it does not matter for you always pitch the strike price where one standard deviation is there simple hit under 8 under the go away from the at the money 800, 800, I mean 800 level call, call option, put option, sell. Simple. That is called one standard deviation short strangle. One standard deviation short strangle. So, this one we are going to do in stocks. Simple. This one we are going to do it in stocks. So, we are going to take HDFC bank, calculate one standard deviation, sell a call and sell a put in HDFC bank. ICICI bank, one standard deviation, sell a call, sell a put in one standard deviation. Got it? How many people got it? So, you should and also understand why we are taking one standard deviation. Why not two strike price? Why not three strike prices? Because we want to generalize the short strangle. We should not blindly go for two strike price, one strike price, three strike price, four strike price. Because when you are in, when we had a corona fall, you you are supposed you may be supposed to go five strike price away. Yes or no? So everything will be decided by one standard deviation. One standard deviation will be decided by at the money call, at the money, at the money call, at the money put will be decided by volatility, speculation, current market conditions, everybody is participating. So you are rightly pitching the strike price, okay? Number two. Okay. Now where to buy? Where to buy? So, generally speaking, with respect to the nifty here, let us take a nifty example, okay. How do you do iron condor? Sir, 400 price strike, strike price away, 500 strike price away, we are selling and 200 strike price away, we are buying. Yes or no? A bank nifty 500 strike price away, you are buying. But here, one standard deviation sell, 1.25 standard deviation buy. So, where are you going to buy? HTFC bank or ICC bank? No. Bank Nifty. Why? Because IV is cheaper. So, thus premium is cheaper. It is a kind of arbitrage strategies, but it is not exactly arbitrage, okay, because you are giving us 0.25 stand, uh, standard deviation difference, okay. Right. So, simple, simple, enter 5 weeks before or 4 weeks before, it does not matter, simple, okay. So, now you know 1 standard deviation, deviation sell it, 1.25 standard deviation, I will give example, buy it 5 weeks before, 1 week before you can exit because last week you are supposed to make a huge profit, then why you should exit? You are also supposed to make a huge loss. Uh, I did not uh, complete the sentence, right? Either you are going to make a huge profit or huge loss. 
listen to me in option selling if you are doing a positional one last week if you are staying there either you will be extremely happy or you will be extremely stressful you cannot be a normal person because of the gamma effect you will get extraordinary profit or extra extraordinary loss it's not extraordinary <laughs> extra extraordinary loss so last one week whatever okay i'm ready to lose one week one week profit be happy okay simple okay your target is 3% and back testing says that don't look at the target if you're not putting a target you will make more profit okay but if you want to lock your profit you can do 3% profit profit you can book it okay the margin for is how much margin you know only 3 lakhs how much only 3 lakhs so what is your profit target 9000 rupees so as time goes on the iv will come down near the expiry the iv will come down for stocks the iv will come down for index yes or no as time goes on the premium will come down both will merge effectively both are supposed to go to zero if market is not moving okay market can move also that also i would like to discuss but if market is not moving the selling and the buying the the pre, the difference between selling and buying is a credit right the credit is supposed to come only 9000 rupees per basket so i call this is a basket one basket one basket size is how much 3 lakhs if you are making 9% kadam ho gaya close it so simple strategy is no adjustments no delta gamma no adjustments shifting call shifting put nothing okay this is somehow 95% of, of of your position is hedged tomorrow 10 to 20% gap down there may be loss but it may not be a bleeding one okay it, it may not be a blood bath yes or no because you have a buy option in index okay so now speciality sell higher premium in stocks hedges with the lower premium in index so kind of arbitrage strategies so it is fully hedged it can be done at any time it can be done at any time but i i the improvement i will i will discuss later okay it can be done at any time and no worries about the black swan event and less adjustments and higher bob the probability is more than 80% doing nothing doing nothing and it works really well in the high volatility because high volatility higher the credit low volatility lower the credit okay better to do it in nifty bank nifty don't do it in nifty why because this also i'll tell later okay why it is not supposed to do it in nifty why not in nifty why not mid cap why only in bank nifty okay rather than learning the strategy you should also understand the how i derive the strategy that is very important because if you understand how i derive the strategies you can also derive your own strategy not only this any other strategy you can derive what is the logic i am thinking behind this one okay so that's what you need to understand okay so now we we'll, let's go to the example and try to find actually <coughs> how we can do this okay here you go hcfc bank 1 icic bank 1 bank nifty 2 basket size is 3 lakhs simple i give an example it is not a real number right now it is not a real price right now so hcfc bank let's assume that it is 1420 okay and let's assume that one standard deviation at the money short straddle premium together is 70 rupees so 1420 is here okay so 70 rupees upside call sell it and 70 rupees down put sell it this is one standard deviation hcfc bank and icic bank at the money call at the money put it is 45 45 rupees let's assume that then 45 rupees upside 45 rupees downside sell it simple okay and bank nifty let's assume that 45685 and at the money is 1560 now we are not going 1560 because buying is 1.25 sd so it may be close to 1800 points because one standard deviation is 1500 and 1.25 unit to call it accordingly maybe 1800 1900 points upside downside two lots buy two lots buy how many people understood this okay right so 
Now, 99 percent, 99 percent of the time, you are going to get only the credit. If you are getting a, if you are getting a debit, then th this logic is no longer is going to work. Yes or no? 99 percent, 90 percent of the time, you are going to get only the uh, credit. Okay. Right now, let's go to the example. Ha. Huh. Let's take example. The real example right now, what we have right now. Okay. So, bank nifty 1, you can take the mobile and tell me the price. What is the bank nifty price right now? March future, you need to see everything, no weekly, everything is monthly. Why monthly? Because the, why we are doing in monthly, why, why we are not buying in weekly? Ah, stock option is in an? monthly, you can't do it with the weekly and we are buying options, weekly will decay much faster. So, we should deal only with? monthly simple common sense that is the reason why we are dealing with the monthly. Whenever you deal with the monthly do not look at the spot look at only the future because option will base will move based on future not based on the spot ok simple right. Now bank nifty future what is the future value in March 47,150. So, at the money let me take it 47,200, 47,200 at the money call it is close to 980 rupees. Can you check it? 47 call premium is 980 rupees and put 1010 rupees. So, if you sum both, it is coming close to 1990. So, this is the call premium, this is the put premium. If you sum both, this is the value we are getting. So, Right now, the bank nifty value is 47,150. Yes or no? Yes or no? If you would like to go 1 SD, but right now we are not going to 1 SD in bank nifty because with the index, how much SD we need to go? 1.25 SD. So, let us calculate this 1.25 SD is here, almost 2500 points because 1 SD is 2000, 1.25 SD is 2500. Okay. So, our duty is very simple. Right now, bank nifty is what? 47, 150. So, 2500 points upside, 2500 points downside. Call, put 2 lots, 2 lots, buy, buy. Clear? Clear or not? How many people got clear? Simple, okay. This is with buy lag, okay. Let us understand the sell lag right now, okay. Right. So, let us come to stocks. HDFC Bank, right now it is 1433. Can you check the price? So, if you round it, it is coming to 1430. 1430. So, at the money call, at the money put 47, 40 points this one put together it comes to close to 87 or something like this. Yes or no? And ICC bank 28, 28 close to 56 is one standard deviation. So, where is the HDFC bank? 1433. What is one standard deviation? 87. So, 87 points up, 87 points down. This call this put one lot, one lot, sell, sell. Clear? How many got clear? Right? Right. So, if you do that, the strike price will be, the strike price will be here. I had mentioned this is 1430 and then this call selling. I am sorry, ok. Here, oh, ok. If you go this 87 points up, this is the call strike price, this is the put strike price, 87 points. If you go 56 points, this is the strike price down upside, this is the strike price downside. 
though this is one standard deviation call, one standard deviation put. One standard deviation call in ICICA, one standard deviation put. And if you are putting the current value, uh, this is the premium you are getting. With respect to the lot size, if you are putting the PNL points here, right? Okay. So you are selling four options, you are buying two options, yes or no? Okay. So only through HTFC bank you are collecting 16,665 rupees is the premium. In ICICI bank you are collecting 13,000 rupees is the premium. The buy option you have is close to 13,000. Bank Nifty you bought na two lots, you bought is close to 13,000. Okay. Now, okay, this stock you are selling close to 30,000 and this is your net PNL, not net PNL, net credit you are getting, okay. The margin you are spending is 3 lakhs. It, how it is 5.42? Ah, correct, right, 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 it is 5.42, right. So, the margin is only 3 lakhs. So, you are getting 5.42 percentage is the credit you are getting, is the credit. If you are doing the plain vanilla, the same 1 SD cell, same 1.25 SD buy in ICICI bank alone, you do not get this. Or else, if you are doing a 1 SD cell in bank nifty, 1.25 SD buy in bank nifty, you do not get this credit. This credit is little higher just because selling where high, where the higher, the premium is high, buying where the premium is low. So now your target is 3 percent, but if you are leaving to the last week, you will make more money on this, okay. So simple strategy. How many people understood? No, no adjustments, nothing, no butterfly, no debit spread, no nothing, nothing is required, okay. So simple arbitrage strategy, okay. What are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of these strategies? That I will explain to you, okay. Right now, okay. Let me tell one of the disadvantages with the strategies, okay. Generally speaking, let me ask this question, okay. At what stage you will make loss in this strategy? I am sorry? I bet you when market does a lower circuit, you make profit. Yes, he is right, okay. When, okay, I will uh, explain one by one. When market is making a big move, HTFC bank and ICICI bank will move, but other stocks will move much, much higher than these stocks. Yes or no? Kotak, I, Kotak or Bandhan bank or S bank or Indusind bank, all other bank will move deeper. That's high bit of stocks. So those stocks will move deeper and dragging the down. So you make more profit in bank nifty buying strategy. So if there is a violent move, big move, you mm -hmm. make profit in option buy. Okay. In fact, whenever bank nifty moves 1000 points, you make profit. You book it and then wait for opportunity and then enter again, you will make 6% per month, more than 6% per month, it is possible but you need to time it, okay, you need to time it. But if you are doing a plain vanilla model, you can make 30 to 40 percent uh, return uh, in this strategy in passive way, okay. So market trends make profit, market trends down, you make profit, market sideways, you make profit. HCFC bank is going up, ICC bank is going down, mm, you will be in a trouble. But if it goes up, one is going down, within one standard deviation, no issue, yes or no? ICC bank is just to 1% or 2% up, HTFC bank is 1%, 2% down, no issue. Yes or no? Because within one standard deviation, no issue, for which we have a 3% portfolio stop loss. Now, the advantage yeah, yeah, is yeah, when ICC bank and HTFC bank are not moving, all other stocks are moving, you get a huge profit because you are going to make in profit in stock, you are going to make profit in index. This is what happening most of the time. This is what ha happening most of the time. Ha anyway, you have a 3% portfolio stop loss. Simple, 3%, 9,000 rupees loss, book it and then done for this month. 
simple okay and one more drawback of drawback of this strategy is this strategies will not give any margin benefit any margin benefit but there is one more advantage in this strategy is okay and this strategy i am very grateful to this strategy for a simple reason because this this strategy brought me to 920 study how simple why it brought the why how it is interlinked with 920 straddle simple what is the margin for 920 straddle one for one straddle bank nifty 1.4 lakhs since you have a monthly buy option na when you have a in stock and the 920 straddle how much margin you need to pay how much margin you need to pay less than 1 lakh simple okay so here you go if you doing one 920 start how many people are doing 920 startle okay so if 920 means it's a kind of 920 startle it is not exactly 920 startle so okay one lakh or 920 okay so if you are doing 920 startle is 1.4 lakhs is the margin but if you have a in stock plus 920 then the margin will come to 0.8 l is 80k your margin is coming down and i was running a in stock this margin was not free i have a bank nifty option i should sell some options to make use of margin benefit that is the reason why i landed in 920 now 920 is my world okay i am not doing this strategy right now for a simple reasons because i can't do the huge volume this strategy can be done for up to 1 crore or else if you have a algorithm you can do up to 5 cr it is a retail paradise because institution cannot come here because they can't put more volume yes or no any strategy you discuss in stocks you discuss in index institution big people prop people can mimic it and then exploit the edge but this strategy is is you are dealing with the stocks only for a smaller capital okay this way you can do this strategy is less than 1 cr less than 5 cr also you can do with the algorithm in the simple way okay so whenever you have a but the thing is portfolio stop loss and then portfolio target you need to look all the stock, all the positions say for example two leg two positions in hcfc bank two positions in bank nifty two positions in icic bank or six legs together you can put it in sensible or any other platform or any algorithm look for 9000 rupees profit book it 9000 rupees loss book it most likely you will exit the trade in two weeks of time okay this historically had given more than 30 to 40 percent return if the vix is less it will give close to 30 percent if the vix is more then it gives more profit and along with that you can do also do the 920 straddle format or any other bank nifty selling option because your margin is coming down okay okay why you can't do the strategies with the bank nifty, uh, nifty now you tell me accordingly you can do the stocks now weightage is different accordingly you can do the stocks now because when you deal with the nifty you need more number of stocks yes or no and the painful part in nifty is it is a well diversified index diversification is the big enemy for this strategy because reliance is going up infosys is going down nifty will not move you will make loss in stock you will make loss in index this is good only for sectorial index this is not good for diversified index moreover the margin requirement for nifty is also because you need to put lot of stocks okay so when you put lot of stocks automatically the margin requirements will be different okay so that is the reason why i do only with uh, bank nifty this i was doing for one year of time without no issue two weeks of time you will make profit so higher liquidity for retail trader is mainly for retail trader that is the reason why i explained here so easy to enter exit at any time and fully hedged both no, you don't need to worry about election you don't need to worry about anything black swan nothing is required and is a higher pop more than 80% of the time you will win <coughs> as i said the what of the problem is 
last week if you are if you are if you are in the market in the last week you you, you one problem is the gamma problem second problem in recent times whether you are selling or buying it attracts more margin correct na they are asking more margin so don't be in the last week so try to square off in the last week how much profit how much loss it doesn't matter last week don't be there okay so can't do with the nifty i explained to you why and need to review the weightage if there is a change because when i started hcfc weightage was 30% and icic weightage for 15% in such a cases you have to do hcfc bank two lots and icic bank one lot right now the weightage of the icic and hcfc bank is almost equal we do one now one lot okay you need to constantly look for the weightage where do you look at the weightage yes nifty bank nifty indexagram you can do so there you will find a weightage every month uh, nsc will release it yeah that's it guys any questions i'm ready to take yeah lot of questions huh? okay <laughs> Yeah, taking yeah. one by one, and he's taking. Then you can. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, if the option goes in the deep in the money, if the slippage is around one fifty rupees, like how you deal it? Deep in the money in the uh, stock option or uh, the, this one? Uh, you'll be selling in the stock option only, no? So if it goes in the deep in the money. Deep in the money, then you may need to do the very deep in the money. Say for example, twenty percent, thirty percent. If it goes, there is no other choice. You should do with the futures. Okay. You need to do a um, synthetic exit using the futures. You say, for example, put is going deep in the money. You need to sh short the. If if there is no liquidity, I'm saying if there is no assume that yeah, there is no liquidity. Assume the case like slippage will be like 150 rupees like. No, that. no, it is not one, 150 rupees in what? A slippage is like uh, ask price and bid price. I'm asking. No, 150. If it goes in the deep in the money, if I execute the trade, like I will have, have a slippage of 100 rupees more than that. In that case scenario, I'm just I'm asking. No, again the 100 rupees in the in the stock just, price. Uh, for example, I'm just asking. Oh, okay, okay. 100 rupees mm. slippage is fine. Fine, you can take it. In okay. rupees, you can take it. Say mm. for example, there is no there is no uh, buyer or seller in your uh, stock option example I'm giving. Mm. Then you can do the synthetic one. You can do the Nifty uh, uh, the stock future. You can sell and then buy the current call. That way, you can intelligently exit if you don't have a liquidity. I'm saying, okay. So Assuming that your stock price is thousand mm -hmm. and the buyer is actually, say, for example, nine hundred. In such a cases, you can do. But most likely, ICC and STFC is more liquid, especially when it goes deep in the money. People will be ready to exit. Okay. That is the reason I'm saying this can be done with less, less than one crore or up to five crore with the algorithm. So don't go above. Like uh, in the previous month, uh, in the 17th Jan to 24th Jan, uh, HDFC Bank's was results was out. So HDFC Bank was almost 12% down and ICIC Bank was almost 5% down. So In what? such a case, your 3% stop loss will be hit. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It can go down. It can go wrong. 100% go wrong. Yeah. Yes, you had a question? Done. Or? And then there is like uh, uh, you have to take the delivery also if it goes deep. No, you can the do money. the synthetic exit using the futures. Yeah. Uh, so like if it's deep in the money and liquidity is not there, uh, can you explain what synthetic future to avoid? Synthetic, the synthetic exit is nothing but you can sh say for example put is going deep in the money, then you can short the uh, bank nifty uh, sorry uh, index uh, sorry stock future, and then by the at the money call it is almost equivalent to the. So exit. it will not go for delivery then. Oh, no, there is no delivery. Yeah. Okay. Then. Okay. Any other question? No question, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. I would like to understand the effect of uh, weeks in case of a black swan event because we are hedging with the index. Uh, the uh, increase of weeks does it match cor correlate with the increase of weeks in uh, individual? No, stock? you are selling almost one standard deviation. You are buying. Okay. Yeah. And even you look at the contract value, it is almost similar. Contract value also, it is almost similar. Maybe some smaller or less because you are dealing with a different instrument. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when VIX is increasing, both will increase. When VIX is, VIX is decreasing, both will decrease. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but like how much would be the variation? Like is it, in, uh, if it is the same contract, uh, and the, like a uh, same contract, meaning like same Correct. expiry and same index or same uh, uh, thing, then there will be relative change. Uh, the the ATM 
mix would be like a OTM. It doesn't matter. No, but this is like a stock versus the index, right? Correct. Right, if stock shoots up by 10x, VIX shoot up by 10x. That is the reason why we are selling, right? That yeah. is the reason why we are selling. But yeah, everything yeah. will settle down, no? We are also buying. Yeah, the VIX yeah. is increasing. You are right. Some, to some extent, we can make loss because in, this option also will increase. Index right. option also will, will increase, but will not increase to the level of stock. You are right. There is, the, the, there is a problem, but it may not go to 3 percent at all. Because you are buying 1.2 USD. Oh, yeah. It will stay remain. It will stay. It will stay. Within 3 percent. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, actually I did this strategy, but uh, it gave me back to back 3 SS. So, my question is how many losing streak will this uh, strategy have? Generally speaking, uh, when the VIX is low, this strategy will go for a toss. Okay. When the VIX is less than 14, 13, this strategy will go for a toss. When the VIX is low, okay. The only choice is you need to wait for an opportunity where the 5 percent credit is there. Then only this is more profitable. See when the VIX is 11 or 12 or 13, the credit will come to 3 percent. If the credit is coming to 3 percent, then it is this strategy is not advisable. So when you have a more cushion, the, the winning is more. Sir, uh, so this is ROI is every year we are getting the same since last back tested data. I am sorry? Sir, as per the back, de back tested data, are we getting 30 percent ROI every year? Yeah, yeah, getting, yeah. Yes, okay. But, Thank but, but as I said, either when the VIX is high, you need to go or else when the credit is getting more than 5 percent, you should go. Sir, do we, do you have the last year data? Yes. Yeah, we have the data. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I was asking, have you done the back testing just with the data, not in the actual market? We have done it with the data back testing before, yeah. But for John month we did not do. You yeah, did not yeah. do. Okay, thank you. But 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 keeping in mind that, say for example, if you are booking a profit of three percent, most likely you will exit in two weeks of time. Most likely you will exit in two weeks of time. If you are waiting for it, then you are supposed to get more surprise. Sometimes more profit, sometimes more loss. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, question here. Um, this side, right? Uh, left side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you explained to us in very simple terms like all of us understand but I think there is more calculation that you would have done to identify how is this 0.5 weightage stocks versus 1.25 SD away. So is there some delta calculation something that is underlying that we should you know other than that 5 percent credit is there something else that you have done delta calculation that how to identify that this is the right size. We how do you come to this strategy okay, basically? Okay. So this strategy is we have done it with the uh, 0 SD, 0 SD is the shadow. We have done it with the 0.5 SD, 1 SD and then we have done a multiple back testing. In the multiple back testing, 1 SD with 1.25 SD had given a better results. That is the result we decided. It is pure back testing based. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys.